Hey, Kershaw County. This is Vic Carpenter, your county administrator, and I'm back with your weekly report. We took some time off while the man behind the camera, Nate Tisdale, went out on paternity leave as he and his wife welcomed a baby boy, Asher, back in September. Since then, we've had a lot of exciting things going on in Kershaw County, including the start of a new school year, the opening of our Watery River Veterans Park, the completion of the new Kershaw County and City of Camden splash pad, and we also welcomed home Sergeant Major Patrick Payne, who recently received the Congressional Medal of Honor for his valor and bravery during combat. But we also have many things happening in the near future, like tomorrow's free TARP event at select Kershaw County Convenience Centers from 10 a.m. until 12 noon. Hosted by the Kershaw County Clean Community Commission, these TARPs will be given to residents to securely tie down their trash in the beds of trucks in order to reduce littering while transporting trash from homes to one of our convenience centers in the county. TARPs are free, and they'll be available at the airport, Bethune, Black River Road, Elgin, Highway 97 Lake Watery, Lugoff Lake Watery, Lugoff and Springdale Convenience Centers while supplies last. Also, if you're gearing up to vote in the November 3rd general election, Kershaw County voter registration is asking registered voters to make sure their voter information is current and up to date. You can easily review your information and make any updates to it by going to scvotes.gov. If your information is current, but you don't feel comfortable voting in a precinct this election, that's okay. Just call voter registration and request a mail-in ballot at 803-424-4016. That's 803-424-4016. Now for some hashtag Casey Strong stories that highlight the positive things being done around our community. George Gibson, owner of the Fitness Zone in Lugoff, who was named South Carolina's 2020 Veteran-Owned Businessman of the Year. Also, the Camden Rotary Club for hosting the annual Happy Feet event that gives deserving children a pair of shoes to start the new school year. And lastly, these dedicated volunteers who continue to make masks for the community medical clinic patients to use during visits to the clinic. There's so many positive things going on in our community to be proud of and many great stories to tell you each week. I hope you'll take part in all the wonderful opportunities our community has to offer and give back any way you can. Stay strong, Kershaw County. I'll see you next week.